Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. On behalf of everyone at RevIO, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. Before we begin the presentation, I would like to go over a few housekeeping items. First, audio will automatically come in through your computer speakers. However, if you're having trouble using your speakers or unhappy with the quality of the sound, you can also dial in via phone number using the phone and access code listed on the screen. Next, a recording of this webinar will be available for on-demand access from the Revio website and emailed to you within two weeks. For those of you just joining us, welcome. Our topic today is proven strategies for managing and monetizing IoT. And we have a guest presenter from CORE. It's going to be great, a great show. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce today's presenters. Tom Moody is joining us from CORE. Tom has over 11 years of experience in the Internet of Things space and has been employed with CORE for the past seven. Tom has held several roles within CORE, from sales manager to his current VP of channel position, and has experience and knowledge across all major IoT and M2M verticals and business. Nathan Briggs joins us from RevIO. Nathan's been with RevIO for nearly two years and brings value to his clients through efficient, scalable, and automated solutions. With a variety of professional experience and personal endeavors under his belt, Nathan's motivated to help clients grow and achieve new heights. Now I'll turn it over to Tom. Thank you, Olivia. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks everyone for joining. This is Tom Mooney, uh, VP of Channel with uh, CORE, and I uh, look forward to going through our uh, slides here and uh, addressing some uh, questions you may have regarding IoT and how you get into the into that business. Here we go. On slide one, kind of give you a little bit of a background about CORE. We are a market leader in the IoT space. We have been doing this exclusively since 2003. We have a comprehensive end-to-end -end value of added services beyond connectivity where we've partnered with uh, various uh, customers like RevIO that can bring in their, their expertise into, uh, into the platform. Uh, we also have advanced applications that we work with in, turning, in terms of uh, location-based services, software as a service and so on, as well as mobile resource management. These are type of applications that can be loaded onto a tablet to control how the tablet's being used, how much data is being used, and also to help block uh, going to unwanted uh, sites. We've had very significant growth over the years since 2003. Uh, a lot of that growth was, uh, was organic by uh, our sales sales team developing and growing as the business grew and we've also grown uh, the last few years by acquisition. We have a true global footprint. We provide data connectivity in over 110 countries. We have uh, offices in, <coughs> excuse me, on five continents as well. And talking about some of our growth through acquisition, um, we have brought on several of our uh, competitors uh, in this space as well as uh, other partners that are looking to, to join with CORE as we move forward in the IoT space. And we always try to be ahead of our competition by uh, differentiating ourselves by the type of services that we offer, uh, just going beyond connectivity, as well as the ease of doing business and our network expertise. Uh, Olivia, it looks like the I uh, lost control of the mouse because the slide didn't change. There we go. To kind of give you some highlights for, um, as Olivia said, I've been with CORE for seven years, and to kind of give you some scale, I'm employee number 30. So as of today, um, just in that time frame, we are now nearing 400 staff globally. We have over 6,000 customers, ranging from clients as large that have uh, over a million devices with us, all the way down to companies who are in startup status. Currently have uh, over 8.5 million devices connected and managed through our network centers. One of the things I'd like to point out, uh, 
uh, with our centers. We do not store any of the data from our customers. You would think as core is a pretty much like a big router where uh, the data comes uh, from the remote device over the cellular network through core so that we can count the bytes for obvious billing purposes. And then we push the, uh, the data to your um, your app, excuse me, your IP address where you need it to go. Uh, so we're, we're not inventorying or maintaining any of that data, so there's no uh, possibility of security breaches or anything like that that just passes through. We have over 315,000 um, advanced application uh, platform subscribers, and this is on our uh, Position Logic uh, platform. Uh, Position Logic is a standalone company or um, a subsidiary of, of Core that provides the back end development of uh, tracking uh, of a tracking application. So they work with companies today that may want to enhance the tracking application that they are doing or if they're looking to get into that type of business, whether it's tracking vehicles, assets, uh, people in a workplace or in a, in a warehouse, uh, uh, Position Logic pro provides that platform and that ex expertise in order to help our clients um, get to the end result of what they're trying to do with their business. We also have uh, uh, our own platform called Prism Pro, which is what we use to manage all of our connections with all the uh, over 16 various carriers that we have uh, uh, currently have agreements with. And this allows a single platform to manage all that uh, uh, those connections, uh, whether you're on one carrier or you're actually using uh, eight of our carrier partners, all managed through a single platform called Prism Pro. And we actually have three global carriers out there that are have, we're actually using the core platform to manage their uh, IoT and M2M business. We are the excuse me we have the ability to deliver secure managed connectivity through uh, VPN connections or we can support encryption uh, from the customers uh, side. <clears throat> we also have significant growth with managed business continuity uh, broadband enterprises. The, this is a new area that we've been getting into providing connectivity and hardware for clients that are looking for a uh, failover for their business um, as well as possibly uh, cellular as a primary for their locations and we'll get into that a little bit more. The other hot button in the uh, IoT M2M space is the the eSIM or the multi MC technology. This allows uh, an electronic SIM to be put into a device and as it goes from one country to another it registers with that carrier and is then considered a local device as opposed to a roaming device. We currently have uh, one and a half million, million users using that uh, service over in Europe um, and it will be deployed uh, globally as we um, finalize relationships with the carriers uh, to, to take on that eSIM service. Because you can imagine uh, the carriers when you're roaming that's uh, additional revenue that they make so they're they're kind of reluctant to want to give up on that. So it's been kind of a slow process getting them to agree with this type of a global uh, platform. And then Hey Tom, I think we just lost your audio. Or you may have muted yourself.
Hello, this is Tom. Tom, we can hear you Hello. again now. Oh, good. Thank you. I don't know what happened there because I thought we lost the – I got a notice on the screen, and I thought it was the, with the system, so I apologize for that. No worries. <clears throat> Okay, well, what we're showing now is uh, we're our true global footprint. Uh, we have office eight off excuse me eight countries with offices locations. We have eight global data centers, and this is very important uh, as since we do provide, as I said earlier, uh, connectivity to over 110 countries. The data centers are all redundant unto themselves, as well as uh, uh, failover redundancy. So, for example, if we lost our data center in Cincinnati, Ohio, it would fail over to Atlanta, and then if we lost both data centers, it would fail over uh, over to our data centers over in Europe. Uh, if catastrophic there, it would fail over to our data centers in Australia. So, as you can see, this allows us to maintain um, uh, connectivity as well as a global presence. Now, to kind of give you an idea of what makes up an IoT solution, there are three critical components. There is a device uh, that is at the location, uh, whatever it is you're monitoring, or it's inside a vehicle. Uh, whatever the case may be, it could be in a field monitoring a sprinkler system for a farmer. That is the first component. The second component is the network, or how is that data going to be transmitted uh, back to your host server. So that's the network component that you need, whether it's uh, cellular-based or it is a uh, fiber-based. You need something to transport that data. And then the third component is the actual application. What is going to take the data once it's received and then convert that into useful information? In other words, what makes that dot on the map appear so you can see your vehicle going down the road? That's what the application does. <coughs> Excuse me. So for various applications, there can be primary internet. That can be where you're opening up a remote office or your client is opening up a remote office and they've been told by their broadband provider that it's going to be a month or six weeks before they're going to be able to run fiber to that location. So how do I get my office up and running in the meantime so that I don't have all this uh, downtime costing me money? Well, you can use, uh, with the advent of LTE on the cellular networks, you can now put in a, a 5, 10, 20, or even a 50 gigabyte plan uh, device in that location that will then provide connectivity uh, for your uh, employees so they can be up and running in business. Uh, wireless failover. This, fa this works out very well for the same uh, businesses, for you, either for yourself or for your customers. Uh, there's nothing more frustrating to be working in, but there's construction going on outside and someone has cut the, uh, the fiber into your building using a backhoe, or your point of sale system has gone down because the internet has crashed uh, for that for the mall or the, your, your office location. By having a cellular uh, IoT solution, this allows you then to uh, fail over so that you're, you don't go out of business. And, I mean, that's got to be the worst nightmare for any retailer from uh, Black Friday on is having a, a stream of customers coming into your store, but there's a long line because you're, you're, uh, the, the salesperson now has to do those credit card transactions manually instead of being able to do them over the point of sale machine. And a wireless cellular failover would be a big assistance there. Workforce automation, we're seeing more and more applications where um, physicians and wellness pri providers are equipping the, the nurses and the medical staff that goes out to visit patients with tablets uh, to be able to assist them with um, whatever uh, they need to work with that patient on, but they can keep all the doctor's records and it can be securely transmitted over the cellular network for that individual. So what are some of the challenges with deploying an IoT solutions? Well, some of those challenges are managing multiple contracts. Uh, this is where CORE comes in because we've already gone through all of that pain and suffering. We have the direct contracts with all the carriers. We have um, our platform integrated into their back end to allow for 
activations and deactivations and of the such. Troubles, whoops, we got one ahead of ourselves. Troubleshooting, uh, having support on staff uh, to be able to help you if you're not hearing from that remote device. There can be hidden charges where you receive a price from the from the carrier, but then when you actually see the bill, there's uh, an administrative charge here and, a, and another service uh, fee added on here. So these kind of things can creep up. Uh, managing costs. Uh, do you have the ability to set threshold alerts so that if your device is using more than the data plan you had originally assigned it to, are you receiving an alert so that you can investigate and find out what is causing that overage? Is it because uh, the device is stuck? It, it just went through a programming update and now it's checking in once a, a minute instead of once every 10 minutes? Uh, did somebody take the SIM out of it? Now they're trying to um, get Netflix on their device. Uh, coverage. You want to be able to have the ability with uh, to figure out what's going to, who's going to provide you the best coverage, uh, not just domestically but internationally. If you're looking at uh, sending out your product and developing a global footprint for your business. And security, what security options do you have? Uh, you can have VPN connectivity, which gives you that private network, and you can also do um, encryption that can help you uh, protect your, your products as well. So the key to success is kind of simplifying through vendor consolidation. You want to look at a wireless solution because it, it, that encompasses coordination of many different components. Because as you know, just seeing the TV commercials that are on there, you know, Verizon has their footprint where they're the best, and AT&T has their coverage. But we all know from personal experiences there are dead zones that a carrier doesn't cover. So depending upon what your deployment is, there may be the necessity to have multiple networks available to you. And when you use a company like Core, who already has these, it gives you a single source to be able to manage those connectivities. Otherwise, you would need to go out and negotiate an agreement with each individual carrier, have all those different contracts, several different platforms because each carrier uses a different type of platform, and then you would have multiple support groups that you would have to call. So that leads into number two and number three. So it's a, again, a single robust management platform and a one-stop shop for all of your components, or like our CEO likes to say, one throat to choke. This is a list of some of the partners that, that CORE is working with. We have channel and uh, marketing and sales partnerships, such as with uh, resellers like Aero Electronics, uh, X4, which is a uh, master agent, on the telco side, uh, Granite, they, they sell telecom solutions to retail establishments. Uh, the OEM partners such as CradlePoint, CalAmp, Sierra Wireless, these are the various manufacturers of hardware components that are, that are uh, cellular certified and can be purchased typically off the shelf for a, for a very, really quick uh, solution. And some of our carrier partners, such as AT&T and Verizon, <coughs> excuse me, Rogers and Sprint and T-Mobile, that kind of covers the North America continent. And then we also have Telefonica, um, Vodafone, and several others for cellular on a global basis. And last but not least, we even have relationships with two satellite carriers, Iridium and Inmarsat for those global deployments or for those areas where there aren't any people living, so there aren't any cellular coverage, but trucks need, still need to deliver equipment and supplies that still need to be tracked. And that's where Iridium can come in. And also for those very remote sites that may need uh, monitoring, such for uh, uh, oil wells, pipelines, things like that. It becomes a very good uh, service there. 
We also have strategic integration partnerships, such as with RevIO, to provide integrated billing uh, services to our customers that do not have their own billing platform. A company like ThingWorks that develops those IoT applications, um, they, they, they listen to their clients and then they develop a custom application to be able to handle whatever that business the person's looking to get into. And then we have existing expansion with other carrier class partnerships, such as with Apple. Uh, Core is the only non-carrier that is authorized to resell Apple tablets for IoT MTIM type solutions. So that was a very big um, uh, feather in our cap when we were able to secure that relationship with Apple, because we're seeing, again, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of medical applications where they're looking to use tablets um, for the patient services. And we're seeing tablets being used more and more in fleet applications where there are new laws coming out regarding uh, hours of service where a driver can only be on the road for X number of hours. And this now has to be controlled and monitored electronically. Excuse me, I keep going uh, dry there. The network, these are some of the, you, you're okay, Olivia, go ahead to the next one. These are some of the things that are making wireless a, as a solution a more viable option. Um, a DSL line, you can see some of the average costs and what the speeds are, and it can take up to a month for an installation. A T1 line, you get much, much faster, much greater cost than one to two months in, an, in installation time. Same thing with cable and, and fiber. You can see the delays that can cause businesses uh, some pain and suffering to try and get up and running. But with a 4G LTE solution with fairly comparable um, data speeds, you can be up and running with less than three business days. And that can help make or break of, uh, a business that's just starting off or one that is expanding and needs to be up and running rather quickly to take advantage of the market trends. Thank you. Other strategic considerations, as I mentioned before, are with the platform. You need a way of controlling and monitoring your devices. You're going to need a world-class support, a dedicated staff to help guide your companies through these IoT deployments, from recommendations of carriers all the way through to troubleshooting. Um, professional IT services. We have several sales engineers on staff that we use uh, in working with our customers to help define what it is they need and what's the best way to accomplish that. And then the monetizing solution, being able to provide the powerful billing capabilities and payments engines to enable your IoT solution. Um, this is where RevIO also comes in because they can help facilitate for that for you as well. This is Prism Pro. This is our uh, our platform, multi-carriers on one platform. What you're seeing there is a kind of a screenshot of when you log into Prism Pro. It gives you an overview of the number of devices you have on the network, how many are active, inactive, type of data plans that you've been uh, utilizing the most. It also includes even if you have any trouble tickets open that you can see visually on that screen when you first um, uh, log in, but it does provide you troubleshooting uh, services. You can use the radius connectivity that we have with several of our clients and be able to pull up real-time data usage. <laughs> Excuse me there. You could do activations, deactivate, suspend devices in real time, analytics and cost controls, you can, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you can access pre-configured reports that we have or you can create your own custom reports. You can also set up uh, threshold alerts, as I mentioned earlier, so that you do get these alerts uh, to let you know what's going on with your devices. And in some cases with a couple of our carriers, you can also even set up where the device um, 
uh, hits a plateau and kind of goes into the suspend mode to help control those costs. You can set up uh, customized configurations for activation profiles. So if you, if you know that everything you're doing is uh, um, a one megabyte plan and you need SMS messaging and it's uh, dynamic IP for the connectivity, you can preset that up and have that configured so that when you go through the activation process, nobody makes a mistake and each device is activated exactly the way that you need it. You can also set up cost centers within Prism Pro if you need within your company to break out different divisions for billing reasons. You can set up these cost centers to help with those controls. And all of Core's uh, platforms, all their partners are all consolidated into Prism Pro to make it one nice, easy search. We also provide in Prism Pro coverage maps that you would have access to. Um, to be able to check in advance, uh, is Verizon the best here, is uh, AT&T the best, or which carrier should I use over in Europe, is, should I use Vodafone or Telefonica, you can do a lot of these coverage checks. And just to, to note, these are not the carrier's maps. Uh, Core works with an independent company that creates these coverage maps on our behalf. So you're not just being sent to a link, you're, you're being sent to a, to a map that's going to give you, uh, again, it's ground coverage, it's outdoors, but it will be a, give you a better idea of what your actual coverage is going to look like. For the global custom delivery, this is an idea of behind the scenes in one of our data centers. Uh, they are, excuse me, they are geographically diverse. We have multiple connections to each carrier. So where it says carrier network, the little blue picture up at the kind of to the top right, we are connected to multiple uh, data centers like with AT&T. Should they lose a data center, we roll over or fail over to one of the other data centers that we have a connection to. So even though AT&T may be down in that general area, core does not go down because of that rail over, rollover capability. And we do this with every single one of our uh, carrier partners. And uh, a few years ago, it, it uh, was a very good thing that we had that in place because the main Vodafone data center over in Europe um, unfortunately caught on fire. It was a, a building next door had been on fire, and it uh, carried over to their building, and their primary data center built burnt to the ground. But Core was able to stay up before its customers because we had a rollover into one of their other um, failover data centers. So we did not lose connectivity. And then it also illustrates uh, our self-healing capabilities within our data centers, um, that they are all completely redundant internally. And should that fail, as I said earlier, we didn't fail over to the, to the next uh, data center. As, as it shows, Cincinnati is the primary and Atlanta is a disaster recovery, but also the failover uh, for services. And our network operation center and our support is a true 24 by 7 service. Um, in the United States, during these out day, day, excuse me, daylight hours, our uh, staff is monitoring that. And then as we go into our uh, evening hours, service rolls over to our, Euro, excuse me, our European and Australian group to, to manage uh, connectivities and, and any support issues that may come up during our off hours. Also to enhance on the customer experience, Core has a very strong focus on improvement on our support group. Uh, our call centers handle connectivity, OEM manufacturers. And the key thing here is that this is all we do. We, we don't do cell phones. So when you call a core support person, you're getting someone who is experienced and knowledgeable in an MTM IoT solution. They're, they're not going to transfer you around to different departments because you're going to be getting the person you need to speak to the first time. A lot of times when you call uh, the carriers, the first person you're going to get is someone who's going to try to help you with your phone, and then they're not being able to, to work on a, an IoT or MTM will continue to kind of transfer you until they find the right person that can help you. As I said, Core 
you're dealing with someone who does this every day and that's all they do. We also provide the first three layers of customer support and then we escalate to the carriers on the, as need be. Again, full coverage for 24 by 7 operation. All of our uh, support people go through very extensive training to, to be able to handle uh, these IoT calls. We can process uh, credit card orders, data usage, uh, account cancellations, all that handled through either support or through Prism Pro. We do a multilingual support and we've been able to sustain high customer satisfaction ratings. These are some of the value added bundles or the core power solutions that we provide to, to clients, but this is something I wanted to kind of show everyone because these are the things that I talked about earlier where you have, again, you've got the hardware, you've got the connectivity, you have the award-winning Prism Pro management, You've got 24-hour support, and you, with all this, tailors into optional value-added components such as business continuity, uh, network monitoring on the on the uh, support side, uh, wireless as a primary connection, and uh, failover, as I mentioned, uh, wireless with tablets. All of these bundled solutions help both you and your customers do their job more efficiently and more economically. And as you can see, the customer benefits are, you know, simplification of uh, suppliers. You, you don't have to be with every single carrier partner out there. You can be with one to make your life easier, make your finance teams easier because they're billing, they're only paying one bill instead of multiple bills. We can be a lot faster and more flexible than our carrier partners can be in terms of being able to get a, uh, a robust solution for you and get things up and running. And we have the ability to uh, create or integrate businesses that you're looking to do into our platforms. So in summary, uh, CORE is an independent global market leader. We have a dedicated fo focus on the M2M IoT space. Our platform today is scalable to, to 10 million devices and beyond. And, as you can see from the recall from my earlier slide, we were at 8.5, so we're already working on, on scaling that up. We're also IPv4 uh, certified and ready to go today. Uh, we have expanded our MTM solutions to provide uh, services. We are, as I said, we've, bo we've grown both organically and through acquisition. We have a true global footprint uh, with connections in over 110 countries. 12 offices across five continents and as I mentioned earlier we are differentiated by our technical and business factors we have an extremely large staff of software developers uh, a very large network engineering staff we are prepared and, and ready to handle just about any situation and service that you that you're looking to deploy either for yourself or for your customers and with that I think that's my last slide and uh, I'll be happy to turn it over to to Nathan now Hey, thanks, Tom, and, and thanks again for speaking with us today. That was great. So, uh, yeah, what I'd like to do now, uh, again, Nathan Briggs with RevIO, uh, what I'd like to do now is, is kind of give an overview of how, uh, how we fit into all of this. Uh, and there are a couple of key points uh, that I'll focus on with, with IoT services. Uh, so, you know, one of those is, is device management. Device management is critical. Uh, so our clients might be managing hundreds, thousands, uh, or hundreds of thousands of devices across their customer accounts. Uh, network integration, so just as important as, as device management, is having uh, your core business systems well connected with that underlying carrier for things like automated usage rating and facilitating communication. Uh, so our automation, flexibility, and configurability uh, allows our clients to get to market faster with new offerings, uh, to rapidly adapt to any changing trends in their marketplace, and to scale efficiently in monetizing these solutions. Uh, which is why our clients have consistently grown at least twice as fast uh, as their competitors have. Uh, and then the other piece is support. Uh, we also recognize that technology is only as good as the people that are behind it. Uh, so each one of our clients can rely on their dedicated client account managers, uh, as well as our ecosystem of partners like Core, uh, to grow and evolve their businesses. 
So for those that, uh, for those in the audience that are not familiar with RevIO, that are new to RevIO, uh, we've been serving communication and connectivity providers for 15 years by automating billing and back office workflow throughout the customer lifecycle, from quoting and provisioning to usage rating, billing, and cash collection. Uh, we provide a hosted platform uh, where you can easily manage devices, connections, and customer accounts. Uh, in addition to efficiency and billing accuracy, it's, it's about service delivery. So our clients can manage thousands of devices and lines, uh, and lines of service on a customer's account while reconciling things like DIDs, MAC addresses, and serial numbers uh, and SIM cards with customer account information. Uh, each of those services uh, is then tied to specific products, data plans, uh, usage rates uh, that can be tailored all the way down to this line level that you see here. Uh, then inventory items are assigned to each one of those lines, and they can be anything from you know, cell phones and routers to telehealth devices, GPS trackers, SIM cards. Uh, in this example right here, uh, we're tracking remote security cameras. Right? And each one of these items has a persistent history associated with it, as well as unique notes on that inventory item. Uh, this makes it easy to search the entire system for any one of several unique identifiers or for a qualitative description even. Uh, so our clients can talk to the carrier about SIM cards, uh, but they can talk to hardware vendors about serial numbers and still put everything in the context of the end user's business. Uh, then this information can also be shared through our customer portal to give those customers a high level of on-demand self-service. Uh, by giving them the same detailed visibility to inventory items and data lines uh, broken, broken out across all their services and all their locations. Um, and you know, That's it for the high level, but uh, I am happy to take questions. I think we've got some time here for a Q&A. Um, and then, of course, I'd like to connect with anyone out there for a, a deeper dive into our system or, or really put it in the context of their business. Uh, with that, I think I'll hand it back to Olivia to, to manage some questions. Great. Thanks, Nathan, and thank you again, Tom. Um, I know I learned something, so I hope everybody that joined us today did too as well. I do have a couple of questions here. Um, it looks like the first one is for you, Nathan. And the question is, can you provide the ability to bill on behalf of a customer? Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, that is a question that comes up a lot. And uh, yes, my clients are able to bill on behalf of their customers. Uh, and they can also support their, their resellers with that same level of automation from quoting all the way to cash collection. Uh, so that includes managing all rate decks, automating usage rating, uh, managing different brand presentation on bills and customer portals, uh, as well as automating tax calculation for those distinct companies. Excellent. And Tom, I think I have a few questions here for you as well. The first one is, how does CORE assist with multi-country deployments? Thank you. We do get asked that one uh, as well. What we do there is with our re relationships with, uh, as I said, Telefonica, Vodafone, uh, O2, uh, Optus, we have several global partners. We take, take on a consulting role in, then with our customers to find out what they're trying to accomplish. Uh, do they want the, the, the device to be considered a roaming device in that country because it's going to be going uh, maybe from, uh, from France to, to Spain? or over to Germany to, through Belgium. So it's, it's a moving asset as opposed to a, a fixed asset. So we work with our clients and then once we can determine that, then we figure out which is gonna provide the best network coverage and then for the best cost. And then that's the recommendation we make back, back to that end user. Uh, in some cases that may require them, um, they may be working with uh, Verizon in the United States but now they need to, to deploy this uh, same service with an offering over in, in Europe or China or wherever it may be. And that's where our strength can come in by helping to um, provide you with the best carrier partner that's going to be able to provide you with the best end result. Great. And I think I have another question here for you, Tom. Um, here's the question. I have a unique product that doesn't exist in the market yet. Can CORE help with certification? Yes, and that's a very good one to be to brought up. That's a good question. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, some of our uh, OEM hardware partners, such as Digi and Sierra Wireless and CradlePoint, uh, Multitech, and so on, the carriers have a certification requirement before a device can be put on the network. 
that's so that they know that it's going to work well on the network, play play well with other devices that are out there, and not uh, be a data hog and bring bring that uh, tower down because it's just assuming too much data. So they do have these certification requirements. And we work very closely with companies that they don't really like the off-the-shelf solution. It, uh, either it's lacking something or it's actually providing too much that they really don't need and don't want to pay for. <clears throat> so they go out and they, they acquire a, um, a module, a certified module, like from Telet, uh, Jamalto, or Sierra Wireless. And they put that on a board. And they've been able to do some... Um, some trial and testing and they, they get their solution work and now they want to go forward and now they need this assistance with uh, certification. Well, CORE has been involved with our carrier partners since the very beginning on working on device certification. Uh, and one of the governing bodies for uh, AT&T and the T-Mobile or the GSM network in the United States is the, what's called the PTCRB board. And they are one of the governing bodies that, in terms of getting devices certified so that they would be eligible to be used. And CORE has been a voting member of that board, uh, and they're also the only non-carrier to be a member of that. And because of that, we have an internal group that does device certification. And what we have done is we get uh, multiple relationships with various labs ac across the globe and across the United States where we have a, a strong relationship with them, where we can work with the client who has this end product. We bring it into our lab, get them introduced to the actual uh, seven layers or uh, CETACOM or uh, RFI Global that, that actually does the device certification. And in working with them, be able to help the, the end customer get their device certified <clears throat> and to market a lot faster than if they went to one of those uh, research labs themselves directly. Because we've been doing it so long, we are able to then, once it successfully gets out of the lab, we kind of get moved to the front of the line within the carrier for that final certification process, again, allowing the customer to get up and running with their business at a much faster pace. Great. Thanks, Tom. And the last question today before we wrap up is, I haven't heard of CORE before. Why come to you instead of going direct to a major carrier? Tom, I think that one's for you as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one, uh, we do get asked that a lot for those obvious reasons. Uh, you know, you're reselling AT&T. Won't I get a better price if I go direct to AT&T? And the answer is not always yes. The answer majority of the time is no. You're not going to always get a better price. And I think what this leads back to is um, a couple of things. One, we obviously need to do a better job marketing our name so that people are more aware of us. But secondly, it goes back to our strengths of being a, a single provider. Because I said earlier on, and you see it even from watching the TV commercials, not every carrier has a coverage all over 100% of the United States. So you're going to need multiple carrier partners if you're going to really be able to provide a true domestic solution. Even a lot of the fleet companies out there will use uh, multiple carriers because, as I said, there are certain parts of the country that one just happens to have a better footprint than the other. So by being able to use a company like Core, where we have already gone through the, the process and the pain of getting these contracts in place and having this connectivity and having a unified platform, we kind of simplify that solution for those for those people who need multiple uh, carrier relationships. If you go with AT&T, you're going to have one platform and then you find out you need Verizon. And that's the real strength and value that we bring by having a single source for all of that. Great. I think that's about all we have time for today. And before we wrap up, I would just like to personally thank Tom and everybody at CORE for preparing and taking the time to join us today. Um, we really appreciate your um, all the work you've put into helping us put on a great webinar, and we also appreciate your partnership.
these slides Thank you, and recorded. Nathan, I appreciate the invite and uh, happy to be here. Happy to join. Yeah, thanks, Tom. The slides and the webinar re recording will be emailed to you within two weeks. Again, we appreciate everybody joining us today. Thank you. Thanks.